Okay, I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Coolant CPU 360. If you all remember from my previous videos, I have the CPU 350. Now, it may seem like it's not much of an upgrade, but I needed another water block anyways because I'm thinking I'm changing the water block out of my son's computer. So, I read some reviews on the 360 and it does look like it's significantly better than the 350. Uh, of course, we're only talking a few degrees, but I mean that can be significant. So let's go ahead and open the box up. Cool Ants products. You know, I've been a Cool Ants fan for a while. I mean, they do everything perfectly. So what we got in the bag? It looks like we got the posts uh, to install the water block. We have. Uh, some metal tape which we can use if we have a uh, temperature probe we want to stick on the CPU block we can do that and it also comes with Cool Ants uh, you can see there it comes with Cool Ants uh, thermal paste that's one thing I don't use of Cool Ants or any company as their own thermal paste I went ahead and bought some uh, Arctic Silver 5 I think everyone knows Arctic Silver 5 is the best to use now here is the water block. Let's go ahead and look at it. I mean, Cool Ants, I think, is unmatched when it comes to machining. I don't know if they have their own facility or they send it out, but I'm telling you, this thing is heavy too. It's not light by any means. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take it out of the plastic. And it comes with a cover on the uh, plate for the back of it so you don't have to worry about accidentally touching it and then not being able to uh, get your fingerprints off you can see a little plate there so it comes already on there but look at that, I'm going to see if I can get you a close up of it see how shiny it is, I mean that's unbelievable really is it's a real piece of work and there's the back and you can see you can see my face there so it's very shiny, very nice. Cool Ants instructions are very good. If you can look, see that through the picture there, they actually have color pictures. It's a little pamphlet. It's easy to read. It's easy to understand. A caveman could do it, I guess you could say. And then you have a rubber piece that goes between the back, the back plate and the uh, CPU water block on the front. And then you have for AMD sockets, which I don't know why anyone would want those. And this is for the AMD. And then you have one for it. It's for uh, LGA 775, 1156, and 1366. So basically, it'll fit anything. And you get all the accessories. It's not like some companies where you buy their water block and you got to buy adapters. Uh, I mean, what can you say? I think this is just one heck of a of a water block. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm taking temperatures right now my CPU 350 and then I'm going to take temperatures using this and see if I actually gain anything from it. Okay I'm going to try and get some uh, numbers from my current CPU 350 so uh, there it is in there. Uh, my computer's been turned on for about let's go ahead and look an hour and 41 minutes so and the CPU is idling at let's see if we can see that 42C which that seems warm I bet everyone's saying my coolant right now is 33 degrees it's really warm in this room though again I got two computers and all kinds of lights on uh, we are clocked there's my 980X we are clocked at 4.4 gigahertz basically and I have it at, uh, I think it's 1.4 volts maybe, and it's showing up as 1.392. I can get a little bit lower on it, but I keep it at 1.4 volts when I want to go up some. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to run uh, Prime 95 for a designated amount of time, and we'll see uh, what the temperature is. Okay, I'm going to do a Prime 95 test now, and uh, go ahead and start the call. Okay, there's 12 threads there running. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run it for, say, 
one minute and then we'll check on there and see what the temperature is. There's what uh, core temp beta is showing. Hundred percent loading, and I'm still at uh, four point four gigahertz. Let's go ahead and look at the temperature. I'm not going to use the reading from uh, core temp data because that could be hard for me to decipher what the heck it's saying. There's so many figures on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the reading from the motherboard. I figure if I go ahead and run this benchmark and take the reading from the same spot then I can compare the results. Kind of a quick update on my computer is uh, I'm now running 12 gigabytes of memory. It's Mushkin DDR. Let's see if I can get in on it here. Whoa. Yeah, it's Mushkin, Redline, and it's a DDR2000, PC3 16000. Look at my coolant. Let's look at my power level first. 432 watts. My coolant is now at 34C. Okay, I've been running a minute and 45 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and let it run to two minutes, I guess. Okay, we're coming up on three minutes. I decided to do it for three minutes. You think I'd have had it figured out before I started the video. So here we go. 56, 57, 58, 59. We'll go over here to my CPU temperature sensor. So it's showing me 54 degrees C after three minutes of running Prime 95. Uh, my power draw is still the same. And my cooling act temperature is actually 35. Now what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to go, go ahead and try to uh, take this one out and put the other one in as quickly as possible so we can keep the same room conditions and we'll go ahead and see if we can compare apples to apples.